open an image in Affinity Photo and then go over here to the elliptical marquee tool. Go up to the top and there's options here, new, add, subtract, intersect. I want add. So I'm just going to click that and I'm just going to add some circles, circular selections, hold down the shift. And now because I've selected the add, you can see it's got a little plus there. So instead of just creating a new one every time, it's adding and creating multiple circles. Oops, I don't want to do that. I'm going to just avoid going over the same design there. And I can create 15, 20, 50, whatever. Go to edit and copy, edit and paste. Go to select and deselect. Now you can see now you've got a layer over here and you've got the layer, looks exactly the same. But if you go down to effects, you click there and you can go say to 3D, so just 3D there, make sure that's turned on and you can change the radius. And you can see you've got these lovely droplets on top of your image. You can also go to bevel and boss, which I think actually creates some nice, and I'm going for the pillow option. So pillar option there creates a nice sort of design there and you can, also, can modify that. So you can just change that. So you, I think that like, creates a very nice bubble there. So click okay or close. So you've got that. However, you can also, and I'm just gonna delete that now after creating that, use it with patterns. So just go there, select that, go to layer and new pattern layer from selection. So the whole thing will be turned into a pattern. Now this is Oxford Street in London. Obviously maybe you might have a different design, obviously. I'm gonna go with mirror as well. So you create a very unusual inception-like sort of design where it's sort of repeated like that. Now I don't think I want to walk along Oxford Street looking like that. However, once you've got your design, you can rotate it, scale it, etc. You can still go over here. Just use the one of these ones. You can use rectangle as well, freehand, etc. Perfectly reasonable. But I'm using elliptical. And again, it's got the same add there. And you can add them. Now, obviously, it's slightly smaller. But I'm just going to. Now, you can go over the boundary. Now, there's no point in going over the boundary over here. So if you go over here, pointless. But you can go over the boundary. But it does have a tendency to create slightly oddly shaped designs. Now, if this was a square document, that wouldn't be the case. The design would be, all the circles would be circular. But of course it's uh, not, it's a rectangle. So you can just create those and again, just add them there. But again, I say you can if you want do that or not, but you can do if you try that. So I've just got those doing exactly the same. So edit and copy and edit and paste. And I'm gonna deselect that because I don't want that anymore. And you can see now you've got another layer on top of that. Again, go down to effects, click there, and go to say 3D first, I would like to go 3D first, and you can see now you've got these droplets all over your pattern as well. And again, go to bevel and boss, maybe just tweak that around, just change it, change the value, and click close. And you can see your design there. And now that's a pattern as well. Now you can, of course, just select this one, go and go up here to the move tool, and you can resize. And you can resize it so you've got all these droplets actually just disconnected from the original image. If that's what you want, you can use them separately. Don't need to have them together. Resize that and you can see you can move it around, resize that. But of course you've got the image in there. Create some sort of surreal looking things where you've got little bits of sort of that London bus there and London bus there. It's oh, Anyway, it does create an interesting design. But you can do that. You can disconnect them if you want. I'm just gonna go back to what it was. You can always just connect the two together and you can edit it and modify them together, squeeze that, move it around to create all kinds of different designs or maybe rotate it, put it to that position, maybe do that, make it into a more square-like design, etc. Create all kinds of different designs that way. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.